Flan is a very traditional Cuban dessert. And as much as I love it, I really only eat it once a year for Christmas time. So today I'm gonna share my recipe of flan de queso, that is cheese flan. Many different variations for flan. There's flan de coco, which is coconut flan. There's flan de leche, which is a plain flan. And I'm sure there's others, but my favorite is cheese flan, flan de queso. So let me show you how I make it. Vamos a empezar con una copa y media de azúcar en la sartén para hacer el caramelo. Just kidding, I'm not gonna talk with my Cuban exaggerated accent in Spanish for this video. So what we have here is a cup and a half of sugar. You can heat this on a medium heat, stirring constantly on a pan. It will get rich, dark brown, and even with these clumps, they will smooth out, don't worry. Once it is completely smooth and brown, you're going to pour it in the dish of your choice. I like using a deep bowl because I like the round shape flan for the final product. You have to be very careful with this caramelized sugar as you can imagine it is extremely hot so even this step depending on what kind of dish you're using it could get very hot so be mindful of that after you've completely lined the inside of your dish you can pour the excess caramel back in the pan or you can put it on a hard surface like my grandmother used to do and once it cools you can enjoy a yummy treat as you prepare the rest of the flan The next step, all you do is crack four eggs directly into your blender, as well as one can of sweetened condensed milk, one can of evaporated milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one eight ounce bar of cream cheese, and then just blend until smooth. Once your oven is preheated to 350 degrees, pour your custard mixture straight into the hardened and completely cooled caramel lined dish. And then you're going to place this dish into a water bath. So I've got a larger pan already filled halfway with water in the oven. You have to move the rack as smoothly as possible since the water as well as the custard mix is still liquid it can easily spill over if you're too rough with the rack moving it in and out of the oven but once it starts to harden it'll be a lot less risky so i'm putting it in first uncovered but halfway through the baking i will probably lay a piece of aluminum over the bowl just to protect the bottom from getting too brown it baked about an hour and just like a normal cake you put a knife in the center and if it comes out clean it's ready before you flip the flan onto a serving platter, I would let it cool about an hour. It does not have to be completely cool to do this, but I don't recommend doing it right out of the oven. I also don't recommend refrigerating it until after you've flipped it out of its baking dish. So as I'm demonstrating here is all there is to it. I know it might seem scary, but it's really easy. The only thing is you wanna make sure that you do it fast so that none of the caramel spills out. After this step, all that's left is to cover the flan and refrigerate it overnight. It will be nice and creamy and chilled to serve tomorrow at our Noche Buena feast. It's the next day and we're having Noche Buena. I served arroz con gandules, tostones, Cuban roasted pork. We had several delicious appetizers and salad and different desserts brought. I also made some guava cheese pastries and some Cafe Bustelo Cuban Espresso to go with our flan. It is a perfect pairing. I hope you guys try this recipe. Let me know what you think and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you guys and see you next time. Yes. Land. <laughs>